Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to make are what are called crumb cake cookies. This particular recipe is kind of unique because you can change the flavorings on it a little bit. Uh, you can also make uh, ice cream cones out of them. If you are looking for a great recipe though to make uh, the waffle cones, uh, I do have a video on that that I think you might enjoy uh, seeing. But anyway, let's get started to make these, uh, these very delicate, crisp cookies. Uh, in a large bowl, I'm going to start off with a half a cup of unsalted butter, which I've had at room temperature. And I'll just put that into my large bowl. And then I'll just start creaming this with my hand mixer. Now, you can uh, make this recipe by hand uh, if you prefer. You don't want to use the mixer. And now I'm going to start putting in a cup of granulated sugar. Till it's all combined. right in but I like to actually alternate it with my all-purpose flour and it's one and a half cups so I'm going to put a little bit of that in and then a little bit of my milk and again the milk was one cup of milk and then I'm just going to start to beat that in on low and again put a little bit more flour in and then a little bit more of my milk rest of the flour and put the rest of the milk in. And we'll just raise the speed up here a little bit. We're also going to be putting in vanilla. So we're going to put one um, half teaspoon of vanilla. And this again, you can change it up if you want to use almond or whatever flavor that you prefer. And this is optional too. I put in a half a teaspoon of butter flavoring. And again, if you want to leave this out, uh, feel free. And then I'm just going to combine everything till it's all smooth. And I'm going to raise my speed up to do that. very velvety uh, in, in texture. And then if you have a electric or non-electric, I guess uh, they do make crumb cake irons. Uh, if you don't have one of those, as I'm not using one for this video, uh, you can use your Pizzelle uh, uh, maker uh, iron. And what I'm just using is my waffle cone maker. And I went ahead and I always uh, spray it with a butter spray or whatever type of oil spray that you prefer. And um, I like to make them for, they come out to about five inches uh, round. 
So usually that's a, a tablespoon. Now, of course, you can make them as large or as small as you want. I'm just going to put just a little bit more than a tablespoon in. And uh, then, of course, follow the directions on your iron and how many minutes. I find using the one particular waffle cone maker that I'm using for this to make this cookie, uh, it can generally take me uh, two, three minutes or so. Uh, it's not necessarily uh, reflective of this iron when the light goes on that it's ready. But I like to check it when the indicator light does go on. If I feel it hasn't baked enough, I actually just flip it over and again watch it very carefully. So you're going to have to um, experiment and use your own um, maker or iron that you're used to and that you're familiar with, that type of thing. So I'm going to let that go uh, till the light comes on. I also have some batter that I uh, had made ahead already, uh, and this is uh, one that it is, okay. And what's nice, as I said, you can make cookies, but you can make ice cream uh, cones. And then um, just check your rump, and if you feel that it's not cooked enough, you can just flip it over and put it back in your maker. But then go ahead and take a wooden spoon and you can either roll them in like a cigar shape or a cone shape and I'm just doing one like a cigar with the wooden spoon handle and then just hold it for a few seconds as they cool they become very crisp and they're a very light uh, tasting cookie um, you can also fill them you can fill them with whipped cream you can dip the edges with chocolate. Uh, I have actually had some that were filled with sour cream and just a little bit of tart jelly and they really tasted fantastic. I have some to show you that have been made up ahead of time. Uh, to change it up a little bit here, what I did was I just added two tablespoons of uh, unsweetened baking cocoa to make chocolate ones and they really do come out nice. And here's the vanilla ones that we just put together and showed you. Uh, and again, what's so nice about them, when you break them, they're just absolutely so crisp and great tasting cookies. I think you're really going to like them. I also want to show you uh, that I made actually a, a large uh, ice cream cone out of the uh, one, the vanilla. And I just used my cone maker that, uh, that comes with it. And then I went ahead and then I actually made a chocolate one as well. So it's really up to you how, if you want to, um, have a little fun with this recipe and make your uh, waffle cones or just stay with the original uh, uh, cookie. Uh, give it a try. If you like this recipe, leave a comment because I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.